previous video I showed you how to install and create a Django project. We also created the models for category and posts. In this video I'm going to show you how to use the shell to insert data to the database. We are also going to use the Django admin interface to add data. First we can start by running the shell. We do this by typing python manage.py shell. Inside here we have total control over the Django project, but in order to add data to the database we need to import the two models we just created. We do this by running from blog.models import category and post. Okay, we can first start by creating a category. We can just call the variable cat1 equals category.objects.create title can be set to category1 we also need to manually set the slug field for now but we will fix that later category1 if you now say cat1 we will if you now say cat1 we will see that this is coming from the database. You can also say cat1.title, we'll see category1. Perfect. Now we can try to create one post as well belonging to this category. Post1 equals post.objects.create title equals post number one. We also need to set the slug field here manually. Post number one. And we need the intro field. This is the introduction body. This is the body. Also, we need to make a reference to cat1. And we just say category equals cat1 and hit enter. We now check the title by running post1.title this is this one. If you want to know which category it is we can say post1.category and we can also say post1.category.title In order to see which posts are related to the category we can say cat1.posts.all so we get all from the database. Post object one. Adding data to the database this way isn't the best way. Let's try the admin interface. Just quit the shell by hitting Control D and go back to Visual Studio Code. In Visual Studio Code, you can go to the blog application and open admin.py. We need to tell Django which models we want to show in the admin interface. So here we need to import the two models from dot models, import category and post. You can just add dot models because we are in the same directory as models. Below here we say admin dot site dot register category admin dot site dot register post. Now both of the models are registered with admin. Then go back to the terminal because there are one more thing we need to do. In order to log into the admin interface we need a user. We can create a super user by typing python manage create super user. Username can be admin, email can just be nothing important right now. Set the password and the super user was created successfully. Let's run the server and go and in, log into the admin interface. Just copy address again and go to Chrome. Okay, we are already here. We can say slash admin. This is the login for the admin interface. Let's log in with the user we just created. As you can see here, these are the two models we just created. 
categories and posts. If you go into posts, you will see the post we just created. Post number one. Here we can delete it and we can save it. If we want to add another post, we can do this by going to add posts. Category, the title, intro, the body, save, and we now have two posts here. It's really hard to understand which of the posts these are, so we can go into the models.py and make a little change there. Below the date edit field, create a new function called def string, which reference to itself. And we just say return self.title. If you go back to the admin again now and refresh, you will see that we get the title instead of the just the object. We can also do this for the categories. So below here, def str return self.title. That looks much better, but this looks kind of weird because this isn't, this isn't the way you write categories in English. We can also fix this in the models.py. Above here we can say class meta. This is some extra settings for the category model. Here we can say verbose name plural equals categories and save. If we go back to the admin again and refresh, you will see that it's changed to categories. Perfect. Now that we have the data in our database, it's time to go on to create the views and URLs and templates we need to show the blog in the front end. Let's do that in the next video.